10 years ago, a tornado touched down in Tuscaloosa and didn't let up until it was on the north side of Birmingham. That tornado and many others like it that day were on the ground for over an hour. It's long track tornadoes and storms like that and the same ones we had in our area that have many residents dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder with each and every new storm system that threatens the area with severe weather. We came to the University of Alabama for answers on this discussion. Now we're 10 years out from the 2011 tornadoes and we're still seeing a lot of anxiety amongst people. Dr. Laura Myers is the Senior Research Scientist Director for the Center of Advanced Public Safety at the University of Alabama. She has done extensive research on how the public responds to emergency weather information. In the days leading up to an event, all of that information gets out there and that really starts to frustrate people because they're like, is this one going to be as bad? And it also starts to put them almost into a panic. And so we're trying to figure out, you know, how can we deal with their fear? And part of that is helping them understand that information is good and they can plan for that information and help their fear. One major difference between now and 2011 is the speed at which life-saving alerts can reach you. Fiber internet, faster mobile devices, and more options for alerts provide greater advanced warning. They are getting their information a lot earlier in the process now. And so everybody is about location and timing. They want to know when it's going to get to them and how bad it's going to be. Severe weather forecasting is challenging, and this year has been no exception. All the ingredients need to come into play at the same time. No severe weather event will ever be identical, but it only takes one storm to be someone's April 27th. On the day of a severe weather event, the best way to gauge the threat is through the tone and mannerisms of the meteorologist. They tell us that they can hear it in your voice, they can see it in the way that you're talking. The tornado's been confirmed with this storm moving out of Boaz. The way that you're standing there in front of the screen and, and they know when you make that change. And so they even talk about that. They say, Brad's getting ready to do this and Brad's getting ready to do that. And you know they do that with each one of the broadcast meteorologists and they trust you guys. For some, the anxiety comes at night. We can't be there to wake you up for those questionable nights, so the best way to have peace of mind is with a NOAA weather radio. I think the NOAA weather radio is the most important information that you can give because the issue is will they wake up? And we have a lot of ways to get the information, and the best way at night is that NOAA weather radio. Even though it's county-based and not polygon-based, that's the one thing that will wake you up in an event.